Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. It's Throwback Thursday once again. I've got two figures here from Saban's VR Troopers line from 1994. On the left I have Ryan Steele and on the right I have Tankatron. Um, these are all part of the large lot of 90s figures I got from the auction recently. Uh, really good price so I really don't feel bad about taking them out of the packaging. Um, but I think they're pretty cool. I kind of remember the show a little bit from the 90s. Didn't really watch it much when it was on. It's obviously a, a Meritoku uh, show, so they take um, footage from Japanese tokusatsu shows. Um, but it's very cool. I really like the design of... I'm not exactly sure what the Sentai is called that the Ryan Steele uh, figure is modeled after. If you know, I'd love to know, so let me know in the comments. Uh, but otherwise, we'll go ahead and... Well, first I'll show you the back of one of these packages, because I do think it's kind of cool. Let me bring this in a little bit closer. Uh, as you can see, there were, I guess, three heroes. Caitlin Starr, J.B. Reese, and Ryan Steele. And then there was Dark Heart and Tankatron. So I think that's kind of cool. Uh, down here, apparently, they had some vehicles. The VR Pursuit Jet, Skyborg Jet, and VR Turbo Cycle. So those are kind of cool. Uh, if I angle this up a little bit, and you can read the... I guess that's a little bit of the backstory there. Enter the world of virtual reality with VR Troopers. So that's cool. I mean, like I said, I never really watched the show much when it was on. Uh, I did watch Power Rangers, and I know Saban had several other shows back then. Ooh, lightning. Okay, there we go. Oop, sorry about that. Sorry, my camera's really wonky for some reason with these. Eh, it's a little better. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and get these guys out of the packaging, and we'll take a look. Okay, so here are the two figures out of their packaging. Uh, they both have very minimal articulation. Uh, Ryan's head can move side to side, but Tankatron's cannot. And then the arms are kind of a rotate all the way around, but they only have articulation at the shoulder, no elbow, no wrist. Uh, and then the legs are kind of the same way. They can kind of do 180 forward and back, but that's it. No knee, no ankle. Very basic articulation. The way his legs, or I should say his feet, are molded, he's kind of meant to stand like staggered like that. Um, but it kind of just makes him want to fall over, so you kind of have to put his arms forward for a little bit of weight distribution. Uh, Tankatron has pretty much same articulation at the shoulders and the hips, and that's all. Uh, his head does not move, but he has these antenna that kind of fall forward like guns. So you can either leave them down. I kind of like to keep them up. And then, you know, he can bring them forward to fire if he wants. Uh, he has this kind of red line down the center, but it's a little off-center, so it's not really perfect. And he's got this kind of gun hand, as you can see. Uh, he does come with one accessory. He has this gray uh, kind of laser gun, which he can hold very nicely. Just pops right into his hand. So he can fire that in his gun hand and his head gun. So he's got tons of firepower. Ryan Steele has a kind of see-through, translucent yellow, yellow, neon yellowish green, like uh, electric sword which just like slides on here to his forearm. And I think that looks pretty good actually. I really like the look of that. He also has kind of a uh, translucent yellow, same plastic as the sword, uh, laser gun, which can fit very easily into his hand. Oop, there we go. So I will say that I do think it's nice that the weapons are, you know, pretty nice for the kind of basic figures. Uh, decent detailing on them, and they do fit nicely in the hand, which I always appreciate. Clip right in, pop right on, no problems whatsoever. So I think they're kind of cool. I mean, they're not the most articulated figures, but these were action figures back in the 90s. They kind of didn't have all the points of articulation we have today. But I think they're kind of cool. I mean, like I said, I got them for a very reasonable price, so I'm happy with them. And, you know, anything Meritoku or, or you know... Tokusatsu related I'm I'm excited about so very very cool I enjoy them a lot um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments if you had these when you were younger if you got them when they were new in the 90s I'd love to hear the stories or hear anything about them uh, please like and share this video please make sure you're subscribed 
There'll be links in the description for my Facebook and Twitter, so you can follow me on there if you want. And I hope you've enjoyed this review of Max Steel and Tankatron from 1994 VR Troopers line. And thanks for watching.